<laughs> you got Bingo! <laughs> That's gonna be a good one. Look at here now. Oh, I'm gonna have to get the net on this. There we go. <laughs> I got Jason Spence with me here. Hey, you getting along, everybody? We'll come over here to Gunnersville. We're gonna try to catch some bait. Bait's hard to catch over here on Gunnersville. I accidentally caught one. One man. One shiner. I said, well, let's go see if we can catch fish with that one minute. Look at here, what a slab now. That's a good one, ain't it? That's a good one. All right. Let him go? Yes, sir, you can let her go. Let's go work on them somewhere else. <laughs> We're going to another lake now. We're going to Whaler Lake. We're going to catch some fish over there. <laughs> I like it. Hey, I can catch some bait over there. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake, Rocky Drake Outdoors. Yeah. Folks, today I'm over here in Decatur, Alabama at Ingalls Harbor here. And uh, just got done catching some bait, and I got a Real good friend with me here, Jason Spence. Good morning, folks. Hey, from North Carolina. We've been friends for a while, but this is the first time we got to fish together. Uh, well, today's the second time. Yesterday, I took him on this same lake we're going to here, Wheeler Lake on down. We went uh, smallmouth fishing. and We did. And Jason's wanting to catch him a nice smallmouth. I almost showed y'all some footage of yesterday. I, oh, something else I want to tell y'all. Jason caught this spotted bass. You ain't gonna believe what was attached to that thing. I was scared of it. So I'll show you that video too. Okay, Jason, tell us how you rigged up, now, I know, I know you, you run them heavy poles with that big braid line, 30 uh -huh. pound. Now yeah. that's a medium light, seven foot Fenwick with a 15 pound test power pro and a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. Oh. Number four, move two circle light, snailed up. I got you, see, he fishes different than I do. See, see how he's got it rigged up right there? He got a little swivel, that keeps your line getting twisted up. I just caught this small mouth right here, boy. Look at now. Jason done got one on. Eat your sandwich, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> <laughs> they pulling good. They, oh, yeah. Hold him, Hook. Mm. Oh, Lord, big small mouth. He's a nice one. Oh, right. Jason, that's what we come for, son. Here you go, boy. Come oh, here, here we go. Easy, boy, don't let him get off that. Whatever here you do. Go. Here we go, now. Here Lord have mercy, pull him up here, boy. Oh, Lord. That's a nice, nice mom. Look at that fat toad, boy. <laughs> hey, we may have to weigh out with no bubble. Look what a pretty fish. Look at that pretty thing, man. Here we go. Four pound, two ounces. Right, right out, boy. <laughs> that is a beautiful mom out there. All right, Jason, you want to measure the length? Yes, sir. Give me that 30 foot tape you got okay, there. Okay, we're picking them out here. 20. 20. He's 20. He's 20, 19, 20 inches long. That's fat. Right there. Y'all see him? That's a knife. Yeah. He's big as a can of spam. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Okay, let me get your picture. Yep. Hold him up, boy. Let me get your picture with <laughs> Jason, now you ain't been here about 30 minutes. What do you think so minutes. far? <laughs> yeah, if it gets any better, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's Turner Lose. Nice fish right there, boy. Look at him going back there. Look how clear that water is. Hi. Good deal. Good job. Jason. That's all right. Now I know why you carry a 35 foot tape. <laughs> a 35 foot long tape to measure his fish with. Right? <laughs> hey, we have fun when we're out here fishing, y'all. Now, folks, if you're going to live bait fish like we're doing right here, man, Jason, there's three things I tell you to make it a whole lot easier on you. And uh, one of the most important things is something to keep your bait alive in. And because that's real important, a wiggly minnow is going to catch you a lot more fish. I can guarantee you that. And uh, so you need a good bait tank to keep that minnow's life. Down. And this right here, this extreme bait tank right here, that that does the job right there. And that's a top-notch bait tank for sure. And the way it works, it just puts a lot of oxygen in the water, recirculates, cleans the water, got filters in it. I mean, there's a lot of thought went into this bait tank. There's the bait we're fishing with. See right here, look here. There's a lot of bait in there. I mean, there's probably, there's probably 75 baits in there right now. Now, folks, these little old gizzard shad right here we fishing with, just hooking them right up through, right up through the nose hole. Straight up, that's the way I do them anyway. Some people do them sideways, I do them straight up. Golly, good and too. Oh, big smallmouth, get the net. Get the net, son, smallmouth. Big one. Oh, Lord. He's a good one. I've been waiting on one of these big smallmouth. <laughs> Look at this. Nice smallmouth. Boy, they fight. They fight totally different than a spotted bass does. Get him in that net, boy. Oh, Lord. There, Don't you look what a pretty fish. Ain't that a pretty now, that is one more pretty fish. Look how gold he is. The reason he looks this color right here is just come out of deep water. He don't have the ball. He done marked up. Now, if you put him in that live well right there, in a few minutes, he'd be all marked up. 
they just they they, they got that capability of just changing uh their color and their patterns to camouflage yourself wherever they're at so anyway that's a pretty fish right there i thought that fish was bigger i mean they fight they fight boy i'm telling you i thought he was a lot bigger than that but hey i'm tickled to get him Lord. and folks jason here is a guide he from north carolina and he's got a guide service up there and you talking about crappie now this man right here yeah he catch him crappie well anything he fishes for my wife and i run a, a guide service here in the catawba river chain it's called 250 fishing adventure we fish lake norman uh lake wiley lake james smallmouth stripers um spotted bass crappies catfish and uh, we fish year round and, and uh, it's just been a real good uh, opportunity for us since I retired. And now tell folks what you retired from. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I was a highway patrolman for 30 years in North Carolina. And, <laughs> and uh, since I went on a um, fixed income, I had to, you know, forego the barber shop and the razors. So, <laughs> yeah, right. So that's the way it is. You got him, boy. Hey, how's he gonna jump? He's heading out there in that sunlight, boy. Is that good? He's good fish. Can you bring him back around this way? And I'll scoop him up for you. Lord, that is good, ain't he? Well, Jason got a bigger now. Can you do anything with him, Jason? I'll try to keep him out of that pole. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Look at that pole, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, look what a big spotted bass. He's a big one. We may have to get Bubba out after this one. <laughs> yeah, that's a Bubba fish. He weighs three pounds, 14 ounces, almost four pounds. That's a fine fish. That is a fine specimen of a spotted bass. Yep, sure is. You'll, you'll fish a long time before you catch a nice quality fish. That's a nice fish. Right. Now folks, the other thing you're gonna need is a good spot lock trolley motor. It's just me now. And there's several good ones out there. Garmin makes one, Lawrence makes one. And, but the one I got right here is a Minn Kota all tracks right here. You hit spot lock, which is right here. It just sets you right here in this current in the river in one place and lets you fish. You don't want to be out here in this current fighting with that trolling motor trying to fish like we fishing because what we're doing, we're throwing it up, up the river here and just letting the current bounce it back down here to us. And if you don't, if you're not spot locked here, you're gonna be fighting that trolling motor. If you don't have a spot lock, you get off that trolling motor. The time you go get a manor, you about halfway down the river, half mile down the river before you get back up here. So you, you, you spot lock, you gotta have it out here. It just make it a whole lot more enjoyable to fish. Now. And the other thing is, now I use this mainly to catch bait. I mean, it's nice to look at it and see fish on there, but I don't use it really to hunt fish. What I've got right here, I got a Garmin live scope, and it's a, I think it's a nine inch screen on it. Uh, one I got ain't a real expensive one because I usually mainly I mainly just use it to hunt bait and catch bait. If I didn't have that right there, I probably wouldn't ever catch no bait. It'd be too hard. We got this point right here coming out, and as it comes on out in here, see it drops off this way, and it drops off that way. So you got a little hump mound right there, and that current is coming down like this right here, and these fish kind of get in on this side of that little that little drop off right here, and they just sit there. Behind that little little hill right there, waiting on those minnows to come up over that hill, and they just run up there and grab them. That's what's going on right here. Now today, I'm fishing my same old pole. I know y'all get tired of me telling you probably, but it's a Ducket Silverado, and it's a uh, uh, let's see what it is, medium heavy. As many times as I told y'all about my pole, I still don't remember how long it is. It's six foot nine inches long, medium heavy, and uh, and I got 30 pound Pyre Pro braid on here. And this reel right here is one of them Johnny Morris reels, Bass Pro Shop. It's about a 2500 size, I guess it is. And then uh, I'll show you my leader right here. This leader line right here that I'm using, it's right here. See there? It's a 12 pound test tied with a Alberto knot right there. That's how it's linked up to. I've, right now I've got three split shots on here three of them because we got a pretty good little bit of current coming out here and you want to slow that bait down enough that them fish can see it before it gets past them and you want to entice them you know what i mean just right there in front of them so they can just run up there and get it and i'm throwing this like I say this little number two red hook right here tied on with a polymer knot and right there is that bait we use and this bait right here i'm telling you right now it catch them boy it don't make no difference what lake you in what river you in 
what the weather conditions is. If them fish is out there and they hungry, they're gonna eat that right there because that's what they eat. I call it all natural swim bait. Ain't that right, Jason? Yes, sir, I agree 100%. See there, he agrees, he's professional. So I just let the current just take it right on down through there and I keep my bell open with some slack in my line. And we got one on right here right now. See right there, he's running straight to the boat. And I got him. This is a good one here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good fish here. Oh my gosh, get that scoop net, son. <laughs> yeah, boy, he's a good one. No, he's a good one. He, he's, he's sure enough good one. Here you go, come up. Get that big joker. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, what a spotted bass. Good net. <laughs> What do you think about it, Jason? Hey, man, I'm telling you, that's world-class spotted bass. Right there. Look at that big hog. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a big one. I mean, right now, we're sitting in, you can see right there, 13 foot of water, 13.6. The water temperature is 46.50 something right there. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a big one. That's a big one. He got your pole bent, boy. How we talking? How we going, buddy? Hey, what do you think about it, boy? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Look at that spotted bass. Oh, that's another good one. That's yeah, he's out there wallowing around. Come on over here. Pretty fish right there. There we go. Look how fat that fish is. He's like either they need 10, 15 minutes. Beautiful fish. All right. Now, like I say, the current's coming down through here. It's Tennessee River right here. And we're at the mouth of this little creek right here. And a lot of times, this time of the year, this bait, the reason he's, oh, oh no, oh God, we just got one on. Oh Lord, Jason, Jason. Get him. I got one on. Get him. <laughs> hey, we have fun when we fish. We don't get too serious about it, y'all. Let's just see how big he is. Bingo. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's another good one. Yeah, it's another good one. Sure we Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. What we got here? Oh, another spotted bass. Good. Now scoop him up. Scoop him. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look what a nice fish you done caught now. That's another good one. Mm, look at that pretty thing. Fat job. Yeah, look at that pretty thing right there. Boy, look, see it, see right there? See that little hook right there, boy? All you got to do is just, y'all can see it right there. Just keep him right there in the corner of the mouth. You got him. That's a fine That's spotted a bass. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn her loose. I'm gonna turn her loose over here. Maybe she won't go back and tell the rest of them we up here fishing. There we go. Mm -hmm. That right there is a ticket. See that right there, y'all? That's a ticket. That right there is a gizzard shad. He got a little round, round nose on him right there. These actually do have a gizzard. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah, boy. Goodness. Did you see that? Did you see that big fish? What's he got on him? He's got one of them sucker things on him. He's got a lamprey on him. Golly. I get to weigh that too? That's a chump, sorry. <laughs> look at that big, look at it just fell off. Oh man, check that out. Looks like a copperhead. Mm. You ain't gonna touch fish, him, are you? You reckon we fish that thing? I think gonna bite you, boy. No, he ain't gonna bite me. Yeah, what are you scared of it for? <laughs> He's slipping. <laughs> get, him, yeah. get him with them power and wire players. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at there. How about that, y'all? Good gracious. All right. Bye. Nope. <laughs> Here you go, here's your fish. That's a nice spotted bass, boy. Boy, what a nice fish. Tell you what, you're doing pretty good today. You've done me a fine <laughs> job today, Mr. Rocky Drake. We've oh. had us a big time today, caught some nice fish. <laughs> right here's what we want. That right there, boy, look at yeah, it's about a eight, nine inch gives a shed right there. We'll put him over in that stream bait tank. Today, we're going after some big fish. Big fish. See right there, look at it. When you fish with bait like this right here, you don't go after little fish. No, you eliminate all that. I got my buddy Jason Spence with me today. He's he behind the camera right now. He cameraman. He's from North Carolina. This little floating net right here. See how that, see how I did that little floating net? You can wait, you can pick through your bait and pick out your better bait and just turn the rest of them out loose. It's Scuba Steve over here driving. I don't know why in the world boat. Jason's <laughs> laughing at me. I don't. We're fishing the ski and what are we gonna do? I tell you one thing, it's right here knocking knock wind off your eyeballs. <laughs> I bet it do. Hey, we serious fishermen now, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that look. Real 80s, I like it. Alright, let's go fishing. 
<laughs> That's gonna be. Tennessee River right here. And uh, you ever down here in Decatur, you, boy, you better have you one of these right here to know where you go. You gotta stay out in that river channel. See, if you get over in that red right there, boy, you tear your boat all to pieces. We gonna do that now, uh huh? Put the hook on it. I got, I got, bro, I got. I got one too. <laughs> that makes two of us. Uh, this is a real fish here, buddy. Yeah. Folks, Jason's got one on. up. And I got one on right here. Oh, yeah. Boat up. Yeah. Look at it. He got that pole bent plumb down in the water. Golly. What have I got? What have I got? I got a rock. <laughs> Dip that rock up. Doggone it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we'll catch a little bit of everything here on Rocky Drake Outdoor. No, what is that I got? That's anyway, a there's Jason's uh, a big hybrid, and here's Mama Catch right here. <laughs> I I it was actually, a little tough to eat. I actually, I actually had a fish on. I don't know what happened. All right, I'm gonna Maybe turn. Maybe he spit that up. He was so big. I don't know. I'm gonna turn this and loose, y'all. <laughs> Jason, yes, what's sir. a nice fish, son? Okay, folks. So what I got here <clears throat> is a is a real good specimen of a, a hybrid striped bass. And a hybrid striped bass is a cross between a white bass and a striper. And you can um, go either way. They've got two different styles. So. If you use a striper egg and a white bass milk, you get one kind of striper or a hybrid versus if you use the white bass egg and the striper milk. And uh, most of the crosses that you have are going to be um, white bass eggs because they're easier to get instead of the palmetto bass. But uh, that's a fine specimen how wide they are. You see he's got broken lines. Right here instead of uh, straight lines he's got a real wide thick body and um but they uh they grow fast they fight hard and they eat good now, folks we're using these big gizzard shad you can see right there how big it is compared to my hand i got this circle hook right here i'm gonna hook him right up through the snoop now folks right now i'm just spot locked right here and uh i want to show y'all right here you can see right here see this drop off right there see it drops off uh that's about 20 foot and this is about 30 foot so it just dropped big drop off and these fish are hanging out right behind that drop off that current you can see the current right here going that way oh one you got i got bigger <laughs> i got hung and i kind of get trying to get on hung. no this this here's a you got the real deal right yeah, this there. real deal oh my gosh no, this and here's a. You this, don't need to run him down with the motor. I don't know. Pull his gloves off. Get these gloves off where I can work on him. Running. <laughs> What's this going to be? Put a warning. What point to blow bulb? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, here's my leader. Oh Lord, it's a big flat. I mean, a good one. See them bubbles coming up there, yeah. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Yeah. Got my bubble scales here, y'all. I'm sorry, my nose is running. It's freezing cold out here. I'm talking about almost miserable cold. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> I ain't got no whiskers <laughs> to keep my face warm like Jason's got. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh this fish right here. See right there. There's a lock in the minute area. What is it? 20 pounds. 20 pounds, 10 out. 20 pounder. There we go. 